fast forward again, why not? Come on, just hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go, come on, move up now, and that should do it, okay. And that does that frame limit thing. Sorry if that's, like, glitchy a little bit. My emulator can't completely handle that. And there we go. That's how we get all the coupons. And now we have to make our way back. So, fast forward again. Sorry about that little thing in the top right. I can't really do anything about that. So, there we go. Now we cash in our coupons. Since we got all three, we'll get all three items. Yeah, sure, why not? We get a star pendant, a four slot, and an all materia. Sweet. Alright. Now we've done all that. Wow, my recording's already past two videos. We're getting, we're getting, we're not quite there yet, but we're getting near there. Alright. I think I might want to end the episode off here, but before I do, try it out, why not? Pay 250 gil on the machine. You don't get anything, though. Bang on it. And then the lady's going to be coming over saying, What are you doing? Don't do that. Uh, fine, screw you. Anyway. You know what? Yeah, we'll get some rest. Why not? And it actually doesn't waste our time. And a save point. Let's see. Where to save it? I'm wondering. Oh, I got an idea. Let's make another save slot. Oh my god. That's actually annoying me. I don't believe it. Huh. So now... Oh, actually, wait. I'm forgetting something. You can come in here and you can examine certain locks and lockers and get items. See, let's just keep examining them. Ah, oh, we got a phoenix down in that locker. An ether in that locker, but... Is it, if this is a megaphone, it won't do any good. Now, that's a really, really... That really sucks, because, believe it or not, there's a character way later in the game whose weapons are megaphones. And that's actually his most powerful weapon in the game, which sucks. So, let me think. Yeah, why not? We'll play a lot in this episode, anyway. So, I'm trying to remember which... Because you have to open these boxes in a certain order. Like, and we get Midgar parts. And then we want to take those Midgar parts into the center room. Like that. And now we just put in the missing piece like that. Now, the thing is, I completely forget, like, the order in picking these up. But hopefully I can remember. Like, I'm just hoping I get them. There we go. And you just keep doing this over and over again, really. Like that. It makes, like, a little noise. Okay. Now going to the here, I think. Wow, I'm actually remembering where they are. Okay, there we go. No enemies on this floor. There are enemies on this floor. I don't see why I haven't found it yet. Watch, I'm gonna jinx myself as soon as I get out this door. Wow, or not. Wow, I actually do remember what the order, then. Still no enemies. I, I usually get at least one fight on this floor. That'll be a record if you could actually go without fighting an enemy here. Go right there. Up, oh, of course, we get in a, in a fight, though. Oh, new enemies. Um, These are hammer blasters, okay? So, they can fire their guns at you. They don't really pose much of a threat. Why did I do that? Uh... Come on, Cloud has the lightning materia. Oh shit, he made him dizzy. Oh crap, that means he'll go on a rampage unless he gets hit. Whoa man, that was bad. You know what, no, I'm actually... Oh crap, run. I didn't realize that he was actually stuck like that. Damn. Well that gave me a surprise in the least. I really should have been paying attention. That's not, that's actually a status condition that allow that makes party members attack one another, which really sucks. Actually, no, and that means that a party member will attack a random person. It can e attack him or herself, any of the two other party members, or the enemy. It's completely random. So now that we actually move on. I really want to get this done. I don't want another fight, but I'm going to get one. Midgar part number six. Come on, we're almost done. Dude, god damn. 
Okay, moving on. Jeesh. Now let's fill in the last Midgar part. And there's one missing for some stupid reason, but I think that's supposed to re represent Sector 7, you know, because it got destroyed. Eh, uh, whatever. Now once you've gotten all of those, you can get this box, and it'll have the next key card for you. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, next we want to... Okay, there's no enemies on this floor, thank god. Next, what you want to do is you want to hear what they're t discussing in that room, because look, um, the president and everyone is in that room. How you do that, you go into this bathroom, in the bathroom, and you want to climb up the little shaft here. And flushing the toilet does nothing, by the way. Okay. There we go. Moving very slowly across, and now let's see. We're gonna sneak up on these guys. We're gonna see what they're doing. Hmm. Wow, ten billion Jill or Gil. We're not re oh you bastards! You're not rebuilding it. Why aren't you gonna rebuild it? Fifteen percent in every area. God. Wow, like, that guy's, like, having a spaz attack. He's jumping up and down. Oh, his name's Palmer. Okay. Wow, the shinra's being... Sh the president's being an ass. Shut up. We can all hear... Oh, you tell him, Barrett. They really don't realize that this little... The vent leads to the bathroom. Hey, that... It's a guy called Hojo. That's actually one of the answers you could have got. 120 years. Mm. So it's impossible for a human lifetime. Breeding Eris? Why? And he laughs maniacally. Mm. That concludes your meeting. And then the girl, I uh, what's her name? Um, Scarlet goes like something stinks. Well, it is connected to the bathroom. Yeah, uh, whatever. Hmm. Well, pretty sure they were talking about Eris. Oh my God. So now that we've discovered that little thing they were talking about, we gotta follow Hojo. We're gonna. I'm gonna be ending off this series of videos soon. Uh, this might go in. I really don't want this to take more than three videos. I'll just speed something up. I don't know. So anyway, you want to wait here. Hojo's gonna go through that door, and we're gonna go through. Are you just gonna follow him? All right. So now that that's over with. We're gonna go up here. And now Hoda's gonna open that door. Don't close it. Don't close it. We don't have key card 67. Okay, good. So now we come up close behind him. And now we just have a little talk. Oh, he's in charge of Shimmer's science department. Okay. Huh. Anyway, well, we're gonna follow him. Let's go over to the left. Oh, crap. Hopefully, no more random battles on this floor. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's actually a certain Emmy we want to run into, but we, we can't... I haven't seen it yet. Alright. Up. Oh, we gotta hide. Hojo's right there. To the right, Cloud. Hide behind the crate. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, that's a specimen. So I can give the technical term for... Her. Oh, wait, no, that's that's not Aris. Oh, that's a different creature there. Mm. And Hojo just walks away. Well, I'm surprised he didn't even notice us. I mean, we were kind of in view. It was like some kind of a lion. Mm. So we're just checking it real quick. That's called a precious specimen. What kind of experiment are they going to be using it for? Then Cloud looks to the right, and you know there's a little capsule here. Don't look inside it, Cloud. It'll give you nightmares. Whoa. Um, why is that thing have no head? Ear rape noise. 
while I was having another seizure. Snap out of it, dude. Oh, God. Oh, man. Genova and... Who's Genova? Well, we'll get into that later, who Genova really is. Huh? Where's its head? I know, it doesn't have one. Ah, oh, God. So, we see that line there, but we don't know, we know what to do about it yet. So, I'll pick up this little thing right here. We'll get a poison materia, and I'll end the episode off here, guys. So, see you next time where we see if we can rescue Iris. We actually made quite a bit of progress in this part. See you guys next time. Let me just save my game real quick. And now, I will see you later. Ciao, guys.